delegates from District 8, and I'm Elizabeth Velasquez. We're going to be going over direct and cross-examinations. Directing a witness should be like a conversation. You ask your witness open-ended questions and let them become the star. Direct should center around your theme and main points and be consistent with the witness's affidavit. Let's look at how this works. Please introduce yourself. My name is Detective Sergeant Emily Hodges. Let's talk about your expertise. Where do you work? I work at the Brooklyn Police Department. And what do you do there? I am a Detective Sergeant at the Brooklyn Police Department and have been since 1997. How are you connected to this case? I'm the detective assigned to the case. And what do you believe about this murder? I believe that Greg Shears knowingly and intentionally killed this woman. And what evidence led you to this conclusion? Greg Shears has motive, not to mention his DNA, all over the crime scene, and witness testimony has led me to this conclusion. You try to bring out the best in your witness on directs, but it's also okay to scratch the surface of a little bit of the dirt that they've done just to lessen the blows from it coming out on cross-examination. For example, would you tell the court about the one time you received a DUI? Alright, summarizing tips for direct examination. The main key is just to be conversational. You want to weave your main points and theme into your questioning. Always ask open-ended questions on direct examination. For example, what evidence led you to that conclusion? It's important to loop questions and answers. Start your next question based on your witness's last answer. This helps things flow smoothly. You want to roadmap the witness. This tells the courtroom where you're going with your questioning. Cross-examination is the opposite of direct examination. Instead of building a witness up as you would on direct, you tear them down. You try to make the witness being crossed seem as dishonest as possible. Ideally, you will pick apart the opposing side's case while accentuating your own. You believe that Greg Shears killed Millie and Tommy Sanders? I do. But you weren't there that night, were you? No, I wasn't there. You didn't even hear screams, even though you were just across the road? No. You saw Greg a few minutes after the murders? That's true. You saw that he could barely walk? Yeah, he was struggling. That he could barely talk? Yes. And he couldn't stand on his own? Yes. Yet you still believe that Greg had the physical strength to kill someone? Effective cross shows holes in a witness's testimony without making yourself seem like a mean jerk. You just lied, right? No. But you lie a lot because you said Greg Shears was a mean guy. Yeah, he was pretty mean. And what do you know as a single mother who has the hoss for Greg? And you also like beer? You think it's good for the soul? Does beer make you lie less? Maybe you should drink some more beer. Summarize cross-examination. Mainly, just don't be a jerk. You want to control the witness by not letting them trail off. You can always object to non-responsive if they don't answer your question. But don't cut the witness off. This makes you look rude and unprofessional. Always act confident when questioning the witness. If you act nervous, then they will be more confident than you. You want to form your questions depending upon how the witness answers. Don't use your question scripts verbatim when you can improvise. Next, we have redirect examination. This comes after cross, and it's a chance for the witness to rehabilitate himself after a tough cross. This is always impromptu and developed during the cross examination. You always do this to remind the judge and the court that the witness is credible and that he can be trusted. Uh, if the witness is having trouble during cross-examination, always redirect and ask the witness to explain what he couldn't during the cross-examination. Just like redirect is based on cross-examination, recross is based on direct examination. Recross topics should be discussed and talked about on redirect. Otherwise, it is objectionable as it is outside of the scope of the redirect.